What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy DC Taku back again for another video. Today's topic is Dragon Ball Super. For those of y'all who don't know, episode one in uh, Japan just aired today, or earlier today, because Saturday night, which would be Sunday morning, and it comes on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. So, yeah, that's how that went. So I watched the, uh, the fan sub. Uh, pretty sure that wasn't a, a tr actual translated sub, because um, there's no simulcast, which I'm surprised. You know, Dragon Ball Z, I'm surprised there's no simulcast. Hopefully we get one before the series goes on too long or whatever. But I digress. So, I watched the fan sub uh, earlier this afternoon. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a review and then my thoughts on the episode. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, it starts off with a pretty good opening. It wasn't a bad opening at all. I like the opening. It was pretty good. Um, Jocko's in the opening, which kind of makes me weary a little bit because I don't like how they're trying to force feed this Jocko. I mean, the character's okay. I think he's kind of funny. You know, he's you know he's entertaining. He's whatever. But the fact that they're trying to force feed us, I mean, he's in Xenoverse. He's in a movie. He's in the opening of uh, Super. So, it's like... Is this character, you're going to try to push him, you know, into, you know, Z or Dragon Ball from here on out? Because that's the case. It's kind of corny to me. I mean, because let's be real. Compared to other characters in the show, in the show's power and everything, this dude is pretty much useless. I mean, we all have a bunch of underpowered characters, so people would like to see him get more shine. Piccolo, Krillin, Tien. Yeah, I'm sure not going to happen, but, you know, <laughs> you get my point. But, so I don't really like the fact that he's in there. Let's do, he's going to be in there. For maybe half a series or a couple episodes here and there. Um, that'd be fine. But if it comes down to the point where they're like putting him in the series. Um, you know. Like. You know. 20 episodes. 30 episodes. Out of 100 or something. That's that's too much for me. No. I ain't trying to see him that much. But. Basically. So. The opening is pretty good. Um, they get into the ep actual episode. And Goku's farming. Because. He promised Chi Chi that he would. Um, actually make some money for six months of work and actually try to make some money for the family because they're dirt poor. You know, he always, you know, always never had money in uh, Goku's household. And uh, Goten brings him lunch and everything. And uh, he tells Goten, uh, go drive the tractor that he's using while he eats. And why you would let it like an eight-year-old, because he's still only like seven or seven at this point because Trunks was eight. Drive a tractor. The fact that he can't even reach the pedals as short as he is just is beyond me. But I digress. So he's driving the tractor. Goku's eating. Then he powered up the Super Saiyan and starts training, just because, just you know, just to do it. And Go Goten gets distracted by this, and uh, he drives off the cliff. And he's falling down in the cliff uh, in the tractor. And Goku, you know, instant transmissions catches the tractor, takes him back up in the air. Um, you know, and uh prevents that crash, which Goku Goku go ten. Not Goku go ten could just flew out the tractor. I mean, but I don't that was just a little too far fetched, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, so that happens. The episode rolls on. They're trying to get a a gift for Videl because her and Gohan are getting married. Um they're living happily, they're getting married and um so they try to find some kind of gift for her. Um, so they end up going to these hot springs, getting water. Uh, I think it's a uh, cosmetic to make you know make her look um, you know younger and make her look you know keep her keep her youth. Um, that's what Trunks' mom uh, told Trunks. So he gave go to the ideas. They were brainstorming to try to figure out what to get Vidal. So. And we getting that for her. And she realizes it's just water, but the boys worked hard to try to get it. And they'll fight some giant snake, which is pretty hilarious. They try to put a lot more comedy back into it, too. They definitely are trying to get the Dragon Ball feel. So a lot of comedy in here, which is cool. I like the comedy. I mean, it's cool. It was funny. It's entertaining. But at the end of the day, and I know a lot of people are going to get mad by this, but it's still Dragon Ball. Like, I won't say Z. Obviously, I can't say Z, but it's after Z. You know, that was then. This is now. You know, we need... I, I prefer it to be where Z was more actually packed deep intense battles you know then to try to you know mix Dragon Ball in with Z because a little show called uh, GT did try to do that and it didn't go so well but and I, you know people are going to say well GT wasn't made by Toriyama blah 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 that's besides the point you know that was then this is now so but it was good it worked so far so but they're going to keep trying to hem it up milk it a little bit too much it might it might not go so well but we'll see 
Um, so we get further into the episode, and uh, I mean, if, you, if it was like in a series, you could almost call this filler. It really didn't explain much. Um, it didn't really show much. It looks like Beerus is getting ready to uh, come to Earth, um, or that's what it's originally leading up to, because he was on a planet. And he was uh, eating this meal prepared by that planet's finest cooks and chefs. And because he didn't like, well, he loved the food, but he didn't like the fact that it was greasy. He decided he was going to blow up half the planet. So that's what he did. He only blew up half the planet instead of the whole planet. So uh, the Kyoshians, towards the end of the episode, are seeing that another star or a planet has disappeared. Beerus or is apparently is going on destruction or he is, you know, just wrecking havoc in the universe, and they see these plants are disappearing, um, which is the end of the episode. Um, so, not like I said, not a bad episode. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, but a little before the end of the episode, Hercule did give Goku a bunch of money from all the tournaments he's won. Well, from when Boo, you know, uh, when he helped defeat feet Boo, he tried to give Vegeta apparently, but he didn't want to take it either. Goku didn't want to take it, but so he ended up taking the money though. Um, um, because Go Goten with his smart self, Goku wasn't thinking, you know, ended up telling him, "Hey, Dad, take the money. You know, it's be great for Mom. You don't have to work anymore. And you can train with King, uh, you know, King Kai." So that's what he did. She let him go train. Um, but not a bad episode. It's pretty good for the first episode. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think. Thought it was pretty good. We'll see how the series goes. The ending of the series is pretty good too. I mean, it is what it is. Too early to tell though. For the longevity, but that's it for me. All right, Dragon Ball Super.